Hello and welcome to the Six Acre Farmstead. Today is March 23rd, 2021. I got a question for you advanced beekeepers. I know I got some new beekeepers and people learn about beekeeping and watching some of my videos to garner a few things, but I got a question for you advanced beekeepers. Somebody's been having bees for two, three years and has a good grasp on things. Have you ever started off the year on the left foot? I mean, I would say the right foot when you're moving forward, but left foot, like, I mean, what's going on right here? So, I'm here. Actually, I'm going to flip the camera around real quick. So, for all, a lot of you guys are my customers in this and that, don't worry. I think we're still good. It's just this one hive I'm dealing with right now. So, I got this hive here is good. It's clean right. These two nukes overwintered. They're doing good. Got them marked today. So, I'm just moving down the line. I got this bench. I got as you can see, it's got a really strong colony here. And what I had seen when it's taken off the top box, I mean, it's just normal regular checks, and I split the boxes, and, and when I split the boxes, I looked on the bottom of that one, on the frames, <coughs> and I had some uh, torn queen cells. I mean, some older comb that had, uh, or older cells that had some uh, real jelly in the bottom. So that's a little strange there. I mean, it's a strong colony, so I'm going through all the frames looking for the queen. I'm not seeing um, any eggs, or I do see a, a one frame. Let me show you this one here. <coughs> of all that. So, there is a lot of drone cell here in this patch. So... What I'm somewhat guessing, I don't think it's a laying worker because laying worker would have my regular cells. Um, <coughs> good smoke <laughs> in here. Sorry. I might have a lot of uh, cells of drones scattered throughout the frame. It's not that, but might have lost my queen early. So that's for my left foot. So what I'm end up having to do is as uh, these hives are starting all off all through here. I'm going to have to actually already start and rob a frame because it's too early for me to make queens or do any of that there. So I'm going to do the old fashioned way and probably rob um, a frame of eggs probably from at least two different hives because they're all starting to build out themselves. So probably this one next to here and I'll probably just take another one from another location and just put a frame of eggs, uh, at least two frames of eggs in this box. That'll be in the, t in the top heap and uh, just swap out the frames and they're going to have to draw out a queen sooner than I expected. It's not a big deal. I mean, it, those, these things happen. It'd be nice if it was a little bit later in the season where I could just already had a few queens and just uh, get one integrated with them, but that's not the case. So that's my left foot step for so far. Still got a lot more hives to go in, but I thought for this video here, I just wanted to touch base and uh, just show you what's going on here. You know, it's a little odd. This is actually this really the first time for a lot of these hives there's only been one or two hives that actually went into so far this year so this is actually the first inspection of all these and to come across this yeah so be it so hopefully everything else goes well and uh i'm blessed with all them so only time will tell and i guess i'll do an update at the end of the year for you who are watching or my customers and say is, is everything okay hopefully everything will be so let me go ahead and put this thing down finish the inspection rob a couple hives do some checks on those and uh augment this one label it and um market my book and just move forward <coughs> well high 15 right here one that had the uh no queen a lot of bees and this and that i went ahead and pulled found two frames i, I was just another high high 14 they were like really strong and to pull two frames from there put them in here and then I have a couple drawn comb frames I had and re uh, placed them back in hive 14 and uh, they'll do really well. Um, here while we're at it, this isn't really a, a right foot, left foot kind of thing, but this is something else I want to pull here. I'm on hive 21 and I uh, just want to show you what I got going on. And uh, it's one of the things that I do in regards to my initial beekeeping for the first inspection, that is. Hold on. So going through here, just going through the top box, finding frames. Had a beetle blaster in there, pulled it out. Um, found the queen. She's in here. She's uh, let's see if we can get it there. Let's see if she wants to run around here a little bit. There she is. You can see she's unmarked. So I got to mark her blue. Got the uh, marking pen and stuff. I'll get that marked here in a second. 
but yeah it's like this is this time of year when you colonize a little bit less and you uh, have the means to find the queen go ahead and get her marked but this is one one of the things also i do here so i got this one frame here i'm gonna grab it and pick it up real quick and this here is a drone cell drone frame she's not a laying she's uh i got lots of really good brood patterns here I mean, the next frames down there are uh, a good shape. This, this is no concern hive. You just, this, it's got drone cell. They just made drone cell here. So, happens in hives. I'm gonna let this one go because it's good to have your uh, drones get started off in the spring. Plenty of drones there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this frame and actually I'm gonna put it out here on the edge um, of the colony. Uh, probably I'll put a, a couple thumbtacks in it to mark what it is and note it in my log. Because actually I wanna get rid of this thing. Um, Early in the year, drones do serve a purpose and uh, breeding with the new queens that hatch out. So that's a good thing here. But in the back end, drones serve no purpose during the main remainder of the uh, the year, uh, the summer and everything else there because they're not really forging. They're not really bringing anything in. They're just still in stores and they are a pretty much a hotel for varroa mites once they start kicking up. So I'm gonna take this frame, I'll we'll put it on the outside, mark with a couple thumbtacks up top and uh, probably will eventually probably be here in about a month or so um, I'll go ahead and remove this frame with the because uh, it'll probably be all drone anyways uh, cap all different forms there I'll shake all the bees off of it and I'll stick this frame here and uh, and I'll call it basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut keep the frame but I'm gonna cut all the foundation out of it the wax and everything else out of there just so I can reuse the frame but the wax is no good mm -hmm. and then I'll put a new uh, sheet of foundation or foundation frame in the side of it in space and the bees will draw that out hopefully into worker brood which will more of a benefit for me in the beekeeping so i think that's it for this video here i just wanted to mention two things my early uh queenless hive and what i did for it going hive inspection here finding drone comb you know it's good to keep it initially but mark it and get rid of it later because you can have a bunch of drone comb in your hive it serves you no purpose uh later in the summer so that's it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.